we've added an extra step to our bookmark tutorial and this is getting added into all the new bookmarks and some of the older bookmarks uh, tutorials does not have this step so if you have some of our older bookmarks just figure on doing this step if you prefer a stiffer bookmark and I'm going to show you the difference uh, when you're doing a bookmark because it's sort of like a freestanding design so you need to use watchway stabilizer because you're going to have these edges that are going to be showing and you don't want the stabilizer to show on the outside and the only way that you can accomplish a clean edge is to use wash away well wash away is kind of a flimsy stabilizer and so a lot of times now this bookmark was done without any extra stabilizer so it's 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 stiff but it is real stiff so the and probably what was done with this one was that the edges were just rinsed off and the inner part was not rinsed off what that will do the little bit of soaking that the water comes through into the rest of the bookmark after it dries that washables uh, wash away stabilizer turns into a glue pretty much like a glue type and it will actually cause the bookmark to be stiffer now a lot of times though that will cause wrinkling on the back of the fabric the back side I like to use um, an interfacing, if this is a quilt fa type fabric that is just a cotton, um, light to medium weight, I like to put an um, interfacing, a fusible interfacing on this. But also what I have found is that if you add a floater underneath the hoop while you're adding the batting on, and if you're using a, um, I prefer to use a, a, a tearaway stabilizer for this floater, and that will give, that will remain in the bookmark. And the way we uh, recommend you to do that is with your second sequence, you know, the first sequence of the bookmark is going to be the placement line. The second sequence is going to be the batting. Well, the additional step is to add on the back a um, piece of tearaway stabilizer. Now, you could use um, cutaway, but I think the tearaway actually uh, does a better job. So when you take it out of the machine, you're going to be trimming the batting around the edges. And we have our, our sequence, our stitch line, for that uh, tack down of the batting falls just inside the placement line. And the, the uh, actual fabric is going to go on top of that placement line. So when you get finished, if you trim your batting right around the edges, then you're not going to have any batting showing on the outside. And then the same thing with the, uh, the um, floater stabilizer. So just tear it away. And because it went down, it used the same stitch as the batting. It also is on the inside of this placement line. You can't, you can't see it because I did not, I just used a white um, bobbin thread. So let me show you maybe after I trim this, maybe you can see it better. So now I have trimmed the batting on the, on the um, front, and maybe you can see where, the, where the, the floater stabilizer is on the, also on the inside of the placement line. So if you like to have a stiffer, like this, this, this is just, has no flexibility whatsoever. If you like a stiffer bookmark, then I suggest using that uh, tearaway stabilizer as a floater. Again. And this time I'm going to show you how to finish uh, the fringe for our fringed bookmarks. These have just been uh, listed. There is a, um, you can buy them in a set of three to get all three of them, or you can purchase them individually. We have one that is um, like an anniversary, um, Valentine's Day, I still do. And then we have the um, faith based, which is um, The Lord is a Strong Tower. Um, and then we have a patriotic, which is also a faith-based in God We Trust. So you, if you like all three of them, you can save some money by buying the set. But I'm going to show you now how to finish off the fringe. Now you have removed it from the stabilizer. It's been put on wash away stabilizer. And I suggest in the tutorial that you um, 
you're going to put the floater on the bottom just like you do on any of the other bookmarks to give some stiffness to it. But I also suggest rinsing, after you finish this, rinse it uh, completely. Take all, get all the wash away stabilizer out of this bookmark and it's going to make it much easier. And then I also suggest to set your attention that it, this, the fringe will be the next to the last step on these bookmarks. And I suggest turn, taking your tension up to a seven and also to put a slightly contrasting thread in the bobbin so you can see which one is the bobbin. What I have done here, I have put a light pink on the uh, top thread and on the bottom I have put, or on the bottom, I have put um, a darker pink. So all you, would, all you need to do is after it dries, or is almost dry, go in here and find the bobbin thread and just take a sharp pair of scissors and just trim that bobbin thread. And I forgot to change it to a tension seven. So mine is gonna be a little bit harder to come to a trim because if you um, turn, if you set your tension to a higher setting, the tension, the bobbin thread is gonna be a little bit wider and you're gonna be able to see it better. But you just go through here and trim that bobbin thread. Be careful that you don't catch the top thread. And we'll do a little bit here and then I'll show you. Then you turn it around to the front. You get these right here. And you just pull that through. You just pull it up. Just like that. And that's all there is to it. Now if you have, if it's like uneven, you could actually go through and trim your um, fringe. Get a little bit more here. Just pull that out. And that's all there is to it. Hope you enjoy.